So today we're going to install an eco hitch on a Tesla Model 3. What we're going to do is use this hitch right over here. Pretty simple little setup. Comes with the instruction manual, whatever hardware you would need for that particular model. Uh, we sell quite a few of these as you can see. And we sell them for the Model Y as well. Okay, so next we got to remove the bump stops to get the taillights out to get the bolts for the bumper. I'm going to do this on both sides. Take these two 8 millimeters out. Clip your tail light. Grab your tail light. Wiggle out. Now that both tail lights are removed, there's a 10 millimeter bolt up here on the top. Take those out. Next, we're going to go over to the inner fender, and there's a T25 right here. There's one on each side. You just need to remove remove that bolt. Next on the inside, there's the clip that the bolt goes through. You need to hold it while pulling the bumper out so you don't lose it. This clip needs to be installed after you assemble the bumper to the reassemble the bumper to the car it has to slide onto this bumper skin right here so go like this once install installed the vehicle you don't want to do that now because if you push it in you'll, you'll scrape up the paint in the car next we have to remove these three push push rivets use a flat screwdriver And repeat for the other side. So next we're going to take the bolts out in the bottom of the bumper and a few out in the belly pan. And I'll show you why. So you have this one, this one here, these three. There's two here, but some models have a third bolt on this half of the bumper under this pan. And then when you take this bumper off, this front half of this pan will come down and you'll fight this pan to get it back on again. So if you take three more out in this pan, it'll allow you easier access for the install. You can't really pull this pan down. So if you do these next three right here, this one, that one, and that one, now you can pull the pan down. Like I said on the earlier ones, there was a one here in the middle. Now we can lower the car and take the bumper off. Next you want to start from the inner fender area, pull your bumper out. And up here, there's, there's clips all inside here, so if you pull it out towards you and pop it up, you can get it off, and then pull away. Once you pull the bumper away, there's a connector right here for the uh, rear PDC in the bumper. So you want to do is slide the gray connector back, the gray lock, squeeze, and pull the connector apart. And then put your bumper aside for later. Now that we got our bumper off. We're going to remove this connector right here from this piece of trim. 
And then we're going to unbolt this bracket. Just pull it off. These are just clips right here. Pull it off. I'll let that set aside. So in order to get this crash bar bumper off, there are three nuts on this side, and there are three on this side. There. Need an extension to reach in. And save the nuts, because you're going to reuse those. Pull a bumper off. Next, we're going to remove these brackets. Now some cars, this green paint is actually e-coating. When you pull these off, if you notice, there's bare aluminum here. So we're going to briefly paint those real quick before we put the hitch on. What do is just give this a little coat. That should be good, just let it dry and we'll put the hitch on. Okay, next you want to do is install these plastic isolators. Let's reuse the nuts that you use to take off the adapters with. Next, I'm going to snug them up. Next, we're going to torque all these bolts to 50 foot pounds. Okay, the next step, get your insulators again, 
from on these studs. Then you reinstall your crash bar bumper. And you reuse the same nuts you used to take off in the first place. This one's a little tricky because it's off center from the hole. get torqued to 50 foot pounds as well. Next, we're going to reinstall this carrier trim piece. Clip it in on this side and that side. Reinstall all your bolts. Just all your trim. Clip your connector back on. Next, we have to modify the bumper for the hitch. You need to remove the hitch before you install the bumper because you'll never fit it through the hole that has to go through here. So, you need to take this bolt out and take this hitch off first. So here in the inside the bumper, we have to drill a hole for the hitch to come through. If you have a later style Model 3, you'll have the very large opening here. You, all you have to do is undo the two quarter turns and the cover comes off. If you have the older Model 3, you actually have to drill holes. So use your instructions here. They tell you how to measure it. This is actually upside down compared to what you're looking at relatively. So you measure out from the edge of the bumper out to here. Uh, they give you uh, 26 and 3 quarters. I'm using a little bit more than that, I'm going to about 27 and a half. And then you go out from that center point out. Uh, one says two, two and a quarter, and the other one's three quarter. And you do is you mark, mark out your mark measurements, and you get a hole saw and drill it out. pre-drill my centering holes first.
Next, we do is hand cut right across here and square out the hole. So pretty much what we want to do is go straight across. this up with a utility knife. So what I'm doing is taking down any sharp pieces of bridge work here. So you're reaching your hand up in the hole for the trail hitch. It's not going to cut you or stab you. off anything sharp. Nice clean hole. Next, we're going to reinstall the bumper. Don't forget your connector. Plug that in. Slide into position. Press it in. In all the way around. Okay, here we are with the bumper installed uh, on the vehicle. But if you notice the, the belly pan, the, the orientation, so you have this front one here and this one here. So now the reason why I took the bolts out is so you can pull this down further and put that bumper up. And then put that bumper up. Makes it a lot easier to do. install all your bolts. On the older cars, the, the bolts that go up in here are, are chrome. The rest of them are black. They are different in length, so just make sure you pay attention when you take these out, where they come from. Next, we're going to install our clip for the bumper. Remember, the clip has to be installed. Tuck your fender liner inside the bumper.
Go. Just repeat this for the other side. Next, we're going to install the two tens. And then reinstall the tail lights. It's just the two push pin clips on the outside and the two studs on the inside. Just snap in. in your tail light. Retuck in your carpet trim. And don't forget to screw in your bump stop. Now we get our hitch installed, put the receiver piece in. What you do is slide it up and slide your bolt in. I recommend putting a little grease or anti-seize on the tip of the bolt if you're in an area where they use a lot of salt, road salt. So put this in, bring it back this way, and then slide it in. Just thread it in and tighten it with a wrench. And you're all set.